<laughs> Mr. Ed here. Today is September the 8th, 2023. And you see that down there? That ain't no good because what's in that tree on the ground, it's a hive of bees. And it, it's, here it is September and our, our bloom really isn't even, our flow isn't getting ready to start, maybe it is. But with bees on the ground like this, it's such a, a bad thing because you really have to act fast. And last night, a front came through and with that front, they had a lot of high winds, heavy rains, and it really took a chunk out of that big old oak tree. Let's see if we can get up there and see where it is. Well, there you go. That branch came right off of that big old oak tree up there. And the homeowner didn't even know there were bees in it until today when he went to look at the limb. He said, oh my goodness, they got bees in it. So I got a call and um, I, I, I left it. Because once you get a call on this, you got you to act fast. Because if you wait long, the beetles are going to come over in there, take over the hive, bees will abs down. So you got to work fast. So it's only, it's only, that tree's only been down for probably 10 12 hours at the most and uh, so we're acting pretty quick so let me go over there and show you what we got over there and by the grace of God I'll have these little bees vacuumed up into everything bee vac and headed back up to the Abbey oh, hopefully <laughs> I don't know I don't know how long it's gonna take but it's gonna take a little while let's get over there and I'll show you what it is this is where the limb broke off of, of the tree and I'm looking up there right now and I still see a few hive bees flying around up there searching for where their hive is and yet they they don't even realize that it's only 30 feet below them. Now this is the entrance of the hive right there and with these water oaks they are just so typical of them that they have interior rod on them and they they make great spots for bees to to move into uh, one of the sayings about water ropes is they they live for uh, 40 years and then they die for 40 years and that's really the truth they, they it, it's a nice tree but golly they're full of full of issues and you can see the rot on this one you know, from that end goes to where the bees are entering and then even even further up that whole limb was pretty much hollow. Now let's look on the other side of the log and I'll show you where the bees are. And this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting to, to remove this to access the hive and then to remove it. So we have, at this end right here, it is the end of the comb right there. And as you move up the limb, at this big, where that limb was, there's our entrance right there. And there's no telling how much further up this way the hive extends but based on how the bees are moving inside of the hive right here I I'm assuming that they went down and a little bit up so I hear the chainsaw is running <laughs> so by the grace of God <laughs> we're gonna find out just how gentle these bees are once we start opening up this tree.
gone and done an expert job at having the log. I, I, I was really thinking we were all going to quarter it, but in a sense it's better really that we just half it. And, and that way we can just lift the, the two halves, separate the two halves, and then take the piece that we lift off and just set it on the ground. Now, it might be a little bit difficult to remove it because the comb is all sandwiched up in there and we may have to tear some of that comb to get out. There may be a little resistance, but we'll find out. But, so I guess, I guess it's all good. Are you ready? Yeah, let's make sure we're loose. Might be a little bit wet. Not anymore. Ready? Oh, look at that. Yeah. The cone's all on this on side. On this side, yeah. Oh, fascinating. Look at that. Woo wee! We only have a little bit. Look Let me get that. to the camera and I'm going to show you all of that. Yeah, look at the honey down here. And here is our hive. I can't believe that we got this lucky and all the cone was on this side of it. And I, I did cut some of it, but not too bad. No, not too bad. Not No, not bad at all. And a lot of times when... when when you cut, and which is really nice, there's a lot of sawdust in the cone, but very little right here. So I know, oh wait, wait, before I tell you any more of this, let me show you. We really do have more of the cone at this end of the tree. But as you can see, that's just all honey. So based on the fact that our honey is at this end of the, of the limb, and our brood is at this end, our queen is on this side of the log. There's no doubt she's on here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start cutting out this comb and just putting it in ice chest and I'm going to be looking for our queen. There is a lot of honey. I mean, I'm really surprised. Generally, I find in, in comb, in, in trees, that they just don't have a lot of space in there to um, make comb but this one there's a bunch let me go get on my veil I think I'll be investing in a bee suit <laughs> and because I'm gonna try to get into yeah, maybe well, having having some boxes here yeah that'd be you need some bees out here Larry would you you need like a, a shovel or something no, uh, no. look at that no, the, the first couple pieces are always nasty. Yeah. Yep. Well, not only that, it's where I've stirred it up with the chainsaw. Well, actually, you did such a good job. That's not really an issue. Let's just cut out some of this honeycomb. Will they go back and live back in the same cone? Well, see, all this is wet, and so I can't... We, we're not going to be able to put this back in the hive. So this honeycomb, no. Well, so See how just, wet somebody it is? Will ju they'll just, uh, you, like you said, your fellow will take and use that in a centrifuge and get the honey out of it? No, this, this will actually have to be crushed. I just crush it up with my hands and strain it. And then... Uh, Do you heat it or anything nope, to get uh -uh, it out? It no. just eventually drains? It'll just drain. Gravity will take it out. So uh, it's just like I'm feeling... Yeah, filleting back there. here. Absolutely fascinating. I'm just amazed at how much honey is in here. And the fact that this is all like uh, local, you know, I mean, this is, you can't get it uh, as far as what they say, you know, having honey from, you know, local bees. Well, it's good for your immune system. If you can eat it from, where you live because the bees are getting the the pollen and the nectar from your area so when you eat raw honey you are actually ingesting what's in your area so you build up um, immunities to it. Wow right? look at that. Yeah. That's, that's, but you that's see it's so heavy. yeah and it's so wet. Here let me taste it. <laughs> oh I can't taste it I got my darn thing on. Now you're in trouble because now your finger's sticky. No, God, that's good. <laughs> so 
zoom in and, and, and show how I'm cutting on the inside of that trunk limb. Cut the back side of it out. The honey filet knife. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, man, he could have used one of those, huh? Nah, he just liked his hands. I am amazed at how, boy, they take up every, every, oh, yeah. every, every look at that. That's beautiful right there. Let me zoom back out. Nice. Yeah, you see how they That's just... That's a lot of honey, huh? Oh, yeah, it is. Now, uh, you see how so it's like... like... how much do you, Jeff, do you think, like, if you put it in, like, quart jars? Oh, you... I, I couldn't tell you right now. And after I pull it out, I can tell you. You see how they... It's like real crusty in here. Yeah. This is this is what bees do is they the interior of the space that they're in, they propolize it. They it's a resin that they create, they make, uh, and then they they spit it or apply it to the inside, and so it completely encapsulates the whole interior of the hive. It's almost like a bacteria-free environment inside of here. So it probably is uh, uh, not prone to deterioration. Well, it. It, it may re retard it a little bit, but the rot will s eventually Take catch over. It. Oh yeah, it'll, and, and it, Look at, they're coming out now over here. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, you know, vacuum some vacuum. more. Right, we're gonna vacuum that. We're gonna take this piece off because it, this one's separated already. That's where I, the chainsaw yeah, hit. Yeah, the chainsaw hit this piece. And then you, you can see in this piece right here, we got some of the sawdust in there, but here's some pollen. These are little pieces of cells of pollen right there. So they go down around the outside of the comb, it appears. What's your question? So they so they go in, they deposit the pollen into the cone, and then the honey just develops, or no? Does... The pollen is is separate from honey. It's different um, substance, and it's so they collect that and they they store that as well. Look at that nice piece coming out of there. Huh? Ah, look at that. Right, let me set this down and vacuum these bees. Okay. Yeah, we got a little bit. Look at the slabs of honeycombs coming out of here. Let's see how much of this we can take out in one section. Oh, you can might be able to get the whole way there. Maybe. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, well, a good bit of it. Look at that. Look at That's amazing. All right, let's back in these bees. Okay, here. Look at the honey down in there already. A lot. We got a, we got a ways to go though. Hey, look at this. You see this little bug right there? Yeah. That's a hive beetle, and that's what I was saying. Why they'll contaminate? They'll they'll lay their eggs in there and hatch out, and it'll kill the hive. That's why if it's wet, those beetles can take over. They really attach this stuff well, and since it's old comb, it doesn't want to come out there without a struggle. There's some kind of gooey stuff right there. What is that? Propolis. That's all propolis. That's how they attach it. One of the ways. It's almost like it. peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It you did. saw how yeah how it kind of like taffy pulled mm -hmm. out. It does. Yeah, it's kind of gummy up against the inside of the yep. the the trunk. And that's what so you see this how long this piece of comb is yes so we're gonna you don't ever cut the queen in half do you i haven't yet that one but might come out all in one piece out. yeah let's see it's wanting to works. look at that all together yeah so we're going to look on the back side to see if our queen is here is she there no uh -uh. so you see that the high beetles are running around these are these these little black things right there right they're, they're trying to they're, they're, yeah that's free, freeloader beetles no that that's that's bad but we, we're going to take care of it. We'll get rid of those things. I'd actually rather vacuum them up because I can't. They won't come out of the bee vac. But if I, if I let them stay on the comb, that's bad. So I'll try to get it rid of them. That is a lot of hard beetles. So. I just want to get y'all to, to check out the number of bees in this hive. I mean, it, it, this is a very, very healthy hive. And I mean, gentle too. I mean, yeah, I took a couple of hits, but they, they've all laid down and it's, it's something, man. I, I haven't seen any new brood in here, so this is all old brood, but man, look at, look at the amount of brood. That, that this girl is laid. So this stuff is gonna be hatching out real soon, I know. Let's take out this next section of comb. So let's go ahead and pull this piece out give us a little bit more room. There's going to be a lot of bees on this one. And she may, may be able to get it all the way from the top yeah. here, huh? Yeah. I'm just looking for her in there right now. No, she's not there. Let's, let's just turn it up here. And now we're going to get these off of here. Oh. Oh, yeah. we, we delicately trying to find the queen. And so this is our honey right here.
That's a like a beetle. Yeah, beetle. It didn't get to live very long there. Let's see if she's hiding underneath here. Yeah, she's going to be with those bees. I don't see her. They're protecting her, huh? Well, she runs. She's a, she's like the best runner of every all of them. And she hides. She's very, very, very good at it. We're trying to get, get back to her. We're trying to find her. She's a master of disguise here. Well, she's definitely master of evasion. That's why we're going to remove all this comb and then we're going to roll the log and we're going to find our queen. Look at, that. Look at all that honey. There we go. Mm -hmm. We've got a gang of bees here in the bottom, and I, I just feel strongly this is where our queen is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and piece by piece vacuum these bees out of here and see if we can find our queen. My guess is she's underneath all of these bees. And look, come look on this side. Our entrance. Mm -hmm. This is our entrance to our hive. Look at the look at the uh, pollen. pollen. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and vacuum these bees up right here. All right, so I lost her. She's right in here. There she is, right here. So we're gonna grab her right now because she's coming down. There she is. Boom. Got her. Hey, now film, film. There's the queen. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Wow, we, we got her. We All got right, her. let's go back here with the rest of the bees. Yeah, look at the bees trying to get to the queen. She's in the queen's cage. And these other bees are trying to get to her to help protect her. Well, that's mama. So, with all of our comb and bees off of this side of the log, which was the main section of the hive, now Larry's gonna come and cut the tree once more, and we're gonna remove the rest of that honeycomb. And you can see that is a lot of honeycomb in there. And here is the end of the hive. Not a lot more comb in there, but a little bit. And then right above the comb, there was a squirrel nest. <laughs> All right, let's get this stuff out of here. And how you like how I track the other bees that are flying around to get to their queen. I'll just vacuum these little girls up real quick and we're just about to wrap up. Now folks, it ain't there no more. We got a couple of robber bees showing up and I, I left them lots of stuff that they can clean up. There's some puddles of honey in there. This section is pretty dry. But they got their, their little honey and we got ours. Time to wrap this video up. Let's take a look, see what we got. Not very much brood, but we'll get, we'll get two frames for sure in there. And then we got a bunch of honey that needs a lot of cleaning. And there's no time, you know, that I don't think we're going to get much more than a gallon, maybe a gallon and a half out of that. And then on this side, our bees and our queen. So this, this is how we always end our video. Now, usually I have my buddy, Good Time Charlie. He he's always comes on bee removals with me, but this one just popped up, so I didn't even have time to call him. We actually were supposed to do one yesterday, and that one got canceled. So... Um, when uh, uh, Robbie called me this morning, I said, oh man, I'm going. Because I, I had the van all ready to go, it was all ready to go. So, um, came over, so it's just you and me on this one. 
Charlie wasn't here, Ralph wasn't here, and Larry has never, ever been around bees before. So tell me your experience about what you saw today. Well, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna at least end up with at least one box. Uh, He's gonna I become left, a beekeeper. I left work so I could uh, <laughs> come and have this experience <laughs> and something new because I've just been fascinated by it and how, how does it process actually work. So. I'm so just, how how did you how did you find the process of removing them? Other than you had to do the work. I think there's a lot of wives' tales out there on how beekeepers come and capture bees, you know, and they smoke them out like some old Indians, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, or or they magically have some kind of secret potion that detracts the queen, and once they get the queen, they can drive down the road and all the rest of the bees follow them. Yeah. But uh, is that how it happened for us today? No, no. The the queen's uh, she's hangs on tooth and nail. She, <laughs> She is, does not want to give up her home. <laughs> so, well, that's all we got for you this one. I mean, I, I'm glad we're only six miles from the Abbey. I still got at least an hour and a half of work to getting these girls set up. But since I'm that close in, I should be home tonight about 4.35 o'clock. Another great day. So, Larry, you know how we're going to end this, right? I think so. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. It's Mr. Ed and Larry. We're out of here until the next video. God bless, everybody. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right. <laughs>